in an age of Trump and political correctness, there's a lot of talk about fake news. And fake news is very real. Anybody knows that who reads the New York Times or the Washington Post, Time Magazine or USA Today, for example. I used to read all these publications on a regular basis, but no more. I don't even watch CNN anymore. This constant barrage of polemics, broadsides, denigration of anything that's Christian or conservative, I just couldn't take it anymore. It's, it's a tsunami of editorial opinions always aimed at anything that's opposed to their agenda. Journalism, it's dead. Roll over in your grave, Walter Cronkite. But the real fake news that concerns me the most is the Christian fake news. It's coming from Christian leaders, Christian media, social platforms, and the Internet. Let me give you some examples. Prophetic hype. Always talking about the next big thing God has revealed to so-and-so. Or talk of miracles. Miracles that are always dependent upon your faith. So whether it's healing or money or whatever, it's never a triangulation between God and you and the preacher. No, no, no. It's always your problem, your faith. And then there is the idea that these preachers, many of them, are always getting some divine revelation from God that has political consequences about where we are in these last days. And very often it just sounds like another Fox News interview. I don't mean to be cynical here, but there's a lot of fake news out there, and the worst is the avoidance of anything to do with demons and the devil. Oh, they'll talk about Satan as long as it's vague enough, but not anything that's going to be confrontational. Fake news. Christian fake news. Fake news about the devil. They don't really write or talk much about Satan. Not about demonic manifestations, the breaking of generational curses, the canceling of soul ties, or credible exorcism. Christian fake news. If you want to talk about the devil, oh, it's okay. As long as you couch it in comfortable, soothing words and make sure that it all sounds very, very encouraging. It's not just about making America great again. Fake news is taken over the religious mindset in America. And you don't have to be a student of the International School of Exorcism to understand this fake news when it comes to spiritual warfare. We need to get back to the truth of Luke 10, 19, that the Lord has called us to stop on serpents and scorpions, the devil, Satan, and all the works of evil. And that's not fake news. That, my friend, is good news. If you'd like to learn more about spiritual warfare, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all the other ways we can teach you about how to overcome evil in your life. A one-stop place with all the information at your fingertips is our website, boblarson.org. There, you can see how to take the free demon tests to see if you have a demon. You can also see what books we have available. I recommend, if you're looking for one to get started, our book, Curse Breaking. Also, at the website, you can learn how to enroll in our International School of Exorcism and to have your very own virtual one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounter. All these opportunities, by God's grace, we make available to you so that spiritually you can know how to get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.